क्रिकेट की रैंकिंग निकल गई है बॉस तू फर्स्ट और कोहली सेकंड है खेलना है अपने फेवरेट स्टार्स के साथ क्रिकेट कैसे खेलोगे मैं बताता हूं टीम के करता धरता तुम ही होगे सो मेक श्योर यू चूज द बेस्ट इलेवन आउट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी टू प्लेइंग फिर सिलेक्ट कर लो मोस्ट वैल्यूबल प्लेयर एक कैप्टन और एक वाइस कैप्टन जितना उमदा आपके प्लेयर्स खेलेंगे उतने ज्यादा पॉइंट्स आपको मिलेंगे मैच खत्म होते एक स्कोरबोर्ड निकलेगा जिसमें आपकी रैंकिंग आएंगी जितने ऊपर आपकी रैंकिंग उतने ज्यादा पैसे हाँ वट्स दिस वट द हैक इज दिस मैन वाई एम एन कम्पीटिंग विश अशनीर वो एंड दिस इज पावर्ड बाई चार्ट जी पी टी लाइक एवरी वन इज बिहाइंड चार्ट जी पी टी तीस डेज सो या लेट्स ही वॉट इट इज एंड लेट्स ही हू विन्स so as we all might know um that ashneer has uh, basically entered into the fantasy gaming market with his own sort of fantasy gaming app um in this video uh, we are just going to take a peek at trying to sort of build something similar to what ashneer has built and to see if we can take help from chat gpt to compete with ashneer's Uh, venture and try to sort of build something similar get some insights about what insights he might have ha- had and how we can sort of take insights and have that x factor and that unfair advantage right for that yeah we are going to use chat gpt a couple of days back i was going through linkedin and i was able to i came across this post by monica uh, which is which references atir abdul raf Uh, who has built a set of chat gpt prompts from business models to product validation to every single thing um this was a very quick read for me then i was thinking that this is a good read this is a good to know thing but i should be able to copy it sort it out make it for my business and do all that so when i saw this i thought uh, that a lot of people say that ashneer is really good at intuitive thinking uh and he he generally spins up different ideas i was also lis- listening to a podcast where his co-founder ashneer grover's co-founder in third unicorn says that whenever he pitches a lot of ideas to ashneer grover ashneer grover is like this wouldn't work this is the reason that is the reason but a lot of people founders and lot of aspiring founders product managers uh if you want to start off something uh you might want to do a lot of research but because you didn't build that kind of a gut feel like ashneer has so the best thing that you could do is like go on a rabbit hole of searching and sorting and going through different resources reports and stuff like that but with chat gpt and all these queries that we have got here we could make it much more easier for us to do that research and go ahead much faster and have all those things so in this video we are going to build something known as grower 11 uh and by build what i mean is like we are going to think through why we should build it the business canvas the market sizing the we'll do a short survey how to do that we'll set up a mix panel dashboard here we are just assuming that the product is already built because chat gpt doesn't build products it does write code but i am just excluding that part here because i'm making this video more for the business focused and stuff like that even before you build the build the product there are a lot of things that you might want to think about and this is the video for that and we do a mix panel dashboard and then we do metrics to track and just trying to understand what sort of metrics would ashneer actually think about tracking and uh, w- what are the market standards of uh, what to track in a fantasy gaming app right and then we do revenue streams go to market plan growth loops and stuff like that pretty much everything around building a business in fantasy gaming is something that we're going to look at in this video and if you see here the unicorn indian fantasy gaming app focused on cricket khelo maze mein aur jeeto sachche paise uh i had a lot of fun while brainstorming the whole video concept and stuff like that i hope you have fun going through this as well let's go right into what i have for you right uh going through uh the whole uh this post uh i went through all these and actually drafted um a excel sheet where you can find all these things where you can just copy paste and make use of these prompts uh i'll also tell you something about prompt engineering like when you write code you have engineers writing code right they are coders but when you are doing prompts 
uh, chat gpt you just use prompts right there is a separate new field coming in in this industry known as prompt engineering where you write these prompts where you learn about what to write and wo- what would actually chat gpt respond to you how to write it in a way where chat gpt responds to you with appropriate sort of a output right uh, i have just written all the business models all the all the categories the use cases the chat gpt prompts right you can go through this i'm linking this uh, excel sheet for you all to sort of access this and download this edit it for your own industry create prompts using these uh, templates and then use that to get outputs of the prompts right uh, i did the same thing i went through all these prompts and i saw what sort of uh, prompts would the uh, be helpful for me to build grower 11 then i settled upon all these things and selected those prompts that sort of uh help me uh with this specific thing and i sorted out those prompts here right uh quickly we are just gonna go and create these prompts on chat gpt just copy them to our grower 11 unicorn product prd that we are building here or the uh, document that we are building to research about this whole product and how would we go about is it feasible what to do and what are the growth metrics how to set up what to track and all that stuff market sizing and things like that first of all let's do the business model let's just copy this uh, prompt for business model and just click on here and just wait for chat gpt i hope uh, uh, i would have thought of putting some uh, background music here but um, my laptop is not here i'm in a different city at home um, so yeah i don't think i'll be able to edit much in this video but um, yeah i hope you folks like it so quickly yeah we have got a complete sort of an output from chat gpt on these business uh, canvas thing let's just copy this and sort of bring it here and just paste it uh, there is this one issue uh, because uh, if you paste it you are getting in a very clumsy sort of a way but we will sort of uh, edit this out uh, just adding like bullet point i'll just edit this only for the first one and uh, from the next one we would probably uh just leave it as a dump because that might take a lot of time uh but yeah i think uh, we have came a long way like we have customer segments uh, uh that cricket fans in india online gamers who enjoy fantasy sports users who are interested in earning real cash by playing games this is like so niche down and so correctly put and so correctly defined ki what this is um and the value propositions channels i think it's a very very well made business canvas model that we are being able to generate using chat gpt the revenue streams entry fees for participating in contest basically commissions on transactions sponsorships and advertising deals pretty much i think what mpl and dream 11 does fall in any of these brackets of revenue streams there are a lot of things that we were able to generate but we'll quickly go on to our product validation which is the market sizing thing and just paste it here and see what it has to uh, give us so it's giving us quite some things it's giving us defining the market determining the tam it's giving us exact numbers for guys so guys and girls are like it's giving us 2023 numbers i am surprised how it's able to give 2023 because i was i was reading somewhere that it has data only till 2021 or 2020 or something like that but yeah we are lucky here uh, we are getting all these things here i'll just copy it put it in our grower uh, 11 thing so that we are able to take a look at it so i'll just leave it like this because it's again messing up the formatting i don't want to do that uh, so let's just do the survey thing let's just see uh, i think here we are asking it to set up the mix panel yeah let's just see it's giving us product metrics as well um so yeah it's bang on it's telling like the number of contests created number of teams created number of transactions and all that stuff it's giving us step by step thing on how to uh, set this up on uh, mix panel as well this is all that we want 
this is all that will help us to sort of compete with Ashdeer. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm getting overly excited. I know. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, this is not it. This is mix panel matrix. This both of these are these ones. We'll just put it here. Mix panel matrix to track. Right. So that's it. Uh, it's giving us very fairly really good um, matrix. Like it's giving us ARPU total revenue, live LTV, They're like weekly active users. Because these this is a contest app. Right. People will keep coming. Matches will keep happening and. People will be making money, people will be making teams and all that stuff. And it's very important that the number of app downloads is more so that people when they are joining a contest, they are able to match up with different people and get into that uh, fantasy gaming league where they can put their money and win. Uh, CAC is really important in such businesses where you sort of do a lot of marketing. It's a it's a very high marketing sort of a product where you sort of do these uh, contest and stuff like that uh, and these are core product metrics which i'm in love with because these are so correctly put and there are step by step in, uh, instructions on how we can set it up uh, now we are just left over with uh, three more uh, let me just pick this and put it here and see what that gpt would give us here um, so let's just wait for it um, it's giving us really good uh, monetization sort of uh, strategies. It's talking about advertising, premium features and partnerships, which is something uh, which is very clearly uh, put together. And I think these are uh, perfectly something that we would definitely want to think about if we want to sort of compete with um, CrickPay, uh, which is by Ashni Grover, Mr. Grover. Um, so I'll just go and get my rest of the ones. Uh, these are like, I think go to market and then we do growth loops and then, uh, finally we'll be left over with, I'll just try to see if I can remove this thing while we get the reply. I don't think it's possible, but yeah, it's giving us really good go to market plans influencer marketing of course we should be doing that social media presence 100 percent target audience defining is really important because uh yeah this is a kind of a market where every single person can be your target audience because every single person can watch cricket because you can't it's a very open market so you need to talk about interest behaviors basically tailored to the marketing needs that you do while promoting this app right uh, influencer marketing, bang on, uh, referral marketing, yeah, that's something that we would, of course, do. Then there is uh, Play Store optimization, as this is an app, you would need to get a referral traffic, organic traffic, search traffic from, uh, like if someone searches Dream11 or be uh, basically uh, MPL, even uh, uh, CrickPay as well as Grover11 should land up uh, somewhere in the in the in those rankings, so that even we um, we can have a healthy competition with Grover. Uh, so that's the thing. Collaborate with cricket teams. That could be done. Uh, we could get someone as a brand ambassador or something like that. And paid ads, ek, promotions, and all that stuff. Let's start. Waste much time here. Uh, I'll just copy this here and just put it in our uh, sheet document here. And then the final one, growth loops, we are going to use a prompt which will give us Nirial's uh, framework that's Hooked. I think uh, some of you might know about this book known as Hooked, uh, which is a framework that Nirial came up with to build habits, uh, habit forming products. So this is a really good framework that uh, we could sort of uh, dive into to build habit forming product because this is the kind of a product where um someone who watches a match regularly should build up a habit with the product so that whenever he or she gets a notification that a new uh, match is going on and they're watching it they should come to uh basically grover 11 or crick pay and start playing right that's when we make money uh so yeah that's it uh i think uh now 
we perfectly have something that we could start reading and also uh, go around and get some feedback from the other product folks in the market and also basically edit edit these out format this really well create a pitch deck if required uh, plan this out and then go and get some investors go and get some developers to build it uh, and sort of uh, we have marketing things done metrics things done we have revenue stream sorted uh, we have the market sizing done uh, we have the business canvas model done we have pretty much everything from the business and marketing side that we need to uh, possibly uh, compete with ashneer yeah i will compete with ashneer uh, this is how we will use chat gpt to do product research um, the whole video was about doing good product research being able to use chat gpt and the prompts uh, all these prompts uh, which i have copied and pasted here i'll drop a link to this in the description you can go and download or make your own copy of this sheet and like edit these things to your own product and be able to generate such documents and basically get some assistance in times in, ter- in terms of uh, using chat gpt to get input and ideas insights from it so that you can make use of those and in- ideas interpret them uh use it to your research and uh be quicker at whatever you do and be more efficient more smarter do things in a smarter way using chat gpt which is what a lot of people doing and i hope you like this video uh i think i was able to give you a little bit of understanding of how you can do product research how you can think about uh building or researching or fast tracking your way into uh, an industry learning about it uh, framing a document uh, where you do all your product related stuff and um, yeah do it with chat gpt so that's it in this video i think you um, i hope you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy just subscribe to this channel i'll be be bringing a lot more videos for startup entrepreneurs Uh, startup founders entrepreneurs uh, designers developers anyone in the tech industry and the product managers as well i'll be bringing more videos for you all uh, to learn from whatever is happening in the latest industry uh, and uh, yeah that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one